All right, so let's do some armature. I've changed the body's shape just a little bit, tweaking here and there. Um, nothing important. And let's build ourselves an armature. Oh, let's put it in the right basic, basic spot, jeez. So this is going to be a Unity armature, and Unity has an obsession with the root bone um, that's a little bit more than most of the other... Um, uh, you may you may not be quite quite so experienced with uh, with how critical this root bone is to unity. There's a cheat that you can use if you like this. Um, if you put the root bone out here, then when you rotate the root bone, you can give the character the bob that he'll need when he's walking. It's a very simple little hack, and it's why I have the root bone sticking out of the butt like this. Um, the other option is to put it inside the body like this. Then it's useless in terms of doing anything, but it won't interfere with your automatic weight painting. Um, out here it will interfere with your automatic weight painting, but uh, if you don't mind that, then that works out. So let's go ahead and do the rest of the armature. That means bringing up here, then a neck, and then a head. Hips. And shoulders. Subdivide this into two pieces. There we go. So this is a functional set of bones. We're going to change some of these names. We're not going to name all of them. We're just going to name enough of them so that Unity won't have a hard time figuring out what's up. No, come on. What the hell? I accidentally hit backspace and it did something crazy. Now, if we were to just map this as is, um, just in case you're wondering, I have applied the mirror modifier, in case you were wondering. You don't want to do this before doing that, because it won't work right. Um, if we apply this as is, there's going to be some problems with it. One of the big, big problems is just that these bones here, these arm bones, are not in the right spot. Um, they're, they're too far forward. But we can drag them back like this. Um, and that'll, that'll probably bring it more or less into the line. Um, so if we were just to apply this as is, then we could see how this will react. So one of the things to remember is that even if you are planning to do weight painting, weight painting can't change the position of your bones. So your bones have got to be in the right spot. And here you can see that we've got this neck that's kind of in an awkward spot. And the result is that we get a neck that ends up really tilting back. Um, which is not generally what we want. So that's probably something that we're going to want to change. And here we can see that when we bend forward and bend backwards, bending backwards looks okay, but when we bend forward, we lose a lot of mass on the front of the body. Um, we can actually fix that up with weight painting. Now here, when we bend backwards, it works out, because it's, it's the small of the back. When we bend forwards, we lose a lot of mass, but it's more or less correct. And here, when we bend forward, you can see that it doesn't bend the crotch area, which we'll need it to do, but that's a weight painting issue, so that should work out. And here you can see that the leg actually looks okay. Yeah, that'll work out fine. Now the real question is, how does it work over here? Uh, that'll actually do just fine. So when we bring up the arm, you can see that because we put this joint low, there's no swelling down here. If we put the joint up here, then raising the arm would cause a massive amount of swelling, but because we put it down there, it doesn't. But there is a massive bonus falling with this, and that's because of bad weight painting, and we'll fix that later as well. So all in all, this joint placement is pretty good. Uh, there's only a couple of small things that need to be fixed, so let's delete the armature mod and fix those tiny details, which uh, is basically this one here. So that'll do. Um, I think that's really all that we needed to fix, so let's rebind it. Automatic weights. Boop, 
boom, 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 boom. Yeah, this will work out just fine. And you can see that because our mesh has been built with these in mind, we have the we have the loops at just the right spots to enhance the way that these creases form when the body shifts. So this loop here, and this loop here, uh, and this loop here, these are all really advantageous because they make it so that when these bones move, they automatically form creases that are very organic. And you can see that crease there. That's more or less perfect. And the same here, that's more or less perfect. But they could use some weight painting. So we're going to do that in the next episode. And I don't want to do it in this episode because it's going to take a full episode of weight painting to get everything perfect. Uh, and of course, this is something that you should get really comfortable with if you plan to do weight painting because you're going to have to redo it a lot. Um, as you can see, we'll have to repaint all of these temporary things. And in addition, once we start to do clothes, we're going to have to repaint those.